and hello I wanted to make another video about how to get your desktop inside the cockpit in VR in flight simulator okay uh, the one I made is a little old and uh, a little messy so I figure I'm gonna make a new one now for this you need Windows Mixed Reality like Reverb G2 okay that's what I'm using I don't know how to do it with Oculus or any other thing. I have no idea. I don't have those. Uh, so, now one thing you want to make sure first, when you have your Mixed Reality Portal running, go to Settings, okay, and uh, Start Up and Desktop, and make sure Input Switching is set to Manual, okay? Manually switch Windows using Windows logo key and Y okay make sure this is set to manual okay it's uh, if it's not then it's yeah make sure it's set to manual other okay so that's important uh, here you want to disable that because that I think disabling this uh, improves performance in VR if you had it disabled but uh, that's just a side note so yeah make sure it is set to manual input switching set to manual okay now once you have that uh, then uh, we are ready to start so let me just set up this thing where I wanted to record okay that's my tree house or cliff house whatever the heck you want to call it uh, and we are going to go into VR now. So Now in the cliff house, I already, I just want to mention, I already have flight simulator running, okay, so it saves time, uh, yeah, so I go choose desktop, and now this is a little annoying, so I am going to put this here, okay, now in my case I have two monitors, okay, this is my main desktop and on this thing here okay there's actually flight simulator running on it in max in a uh, full screen okay on uh, this monitor here the big one the small one is where i'm gonna have all my programs now if you only have one monitor that's okay too uh, that's okay too it's a little bit more tricky to switching later uh, because you can't have, uh, you know, something maxed out on it. It's a little bit more tricky, but it's not a big deal, really. Same idea applies, okay? Uh, now, if you have two monitors, like I do, make sure you disable this here, okay? You don't want it to switch monitors for you, okay? Here. So, I am choosing my monitor, which is not the flight simulator. So, it's this, okay? You want to make it small. You want to click here on follow me. And that's it. And now you can start your flight simulator. Now, uh, my flight simulator running is the monitor to the left. Well, you can see it obviously, but it's to the left here. And I had some people they were having problems, they can't go to VR, they cannot enable VR right now, okay? Make sure you have focus to your Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is this here, right? So I would go with my mouse to the left, and I would click there, and I will have a focus on Flight Simulator, okay? And that will start the VR in Flight Simulator. If that doesn't work, I mean, it, it will work, it will work. Right, because if I have focus on something else, like this window here, and I press the Enter VR button, which I have set up to my uh, key on a joystick, 
it doesn't work you sometimes and the Microsoft Flight Simulator icon will go like yellow or orange kind of telling me I have to go in there uh, but like whatever uh, if it doesn't go make sure you have focus so if if you had only one monitor then you would have to have like here a small window of your flight simulator anyway so let's see if it goes in okay yeah it's gonna go into VR now there we go so uh, I don't need to center because I was already on it I mean in it once okay and there you go you are in the cockpit and now what I do with this thing I actually put it up here on the roof and uh, bring it close to me and stop following and that's it okay so now when you when you fly actually I do want to center it because it's a little bit off there and when I fly like I can still see it near the top but hardly any so it's nice it's out of your way and boom I just look like that and uh, you know I have everything here so basically I have my desktop uh, now how to work with this thing right so let's say I want to start uh, vpilot for vatsim boom it's running right and I can read it without issue actually oh, I can connect whatever that's fine well there's no reason for it I'll confuse people right but yeah there you go it's uh, it's running perfectly fine and I can have anything I want you know I can have uh, a Firefox fireman anything I want I can do here now when I want to now play in flight simulator okay click on something in flight simulator I have to if you can see my mouse I have to go to the left out and right now I know uh, hang on, sorry I gotta change something else make sure that it so yeah when I go to the left where is my monitor okay uh, and I click on it boom I have a mouse right back in the cockpit and I can do whatever I need to do inside the cockpit okay now if I want to go and interact with the uh, V pilot or whatever on my desktop I would press alert tab now of course I can't see it in VR so I have this little helper uh, which I used to use uh, which was voice attack and I would tell her like mouse or whatever and it would it would press alert tab for me but I have something better right now and I have a mouse with a bunch of buttons uh, on the side uh, what kind of mouse is it? Uh, it's G604 is what it is and it has like a well, six buttons actually on the side and one of these buttons I programmed to be alert tab okay with uh, uh, with uh, oh, what is this thing called uh, Logitech whatever yeah Logitech G-Hub right so when I press that button on the mouse it acts like me pressing alert tab okay so that's how it works I have a mouse in the cockpit now I press uh, that button on on the mouse which is alert tab but I can feel it I don't need to look for it and now my mouse is gonna be in the desktop now it's still on the left monitor so I just have to drag it drag it drag it drag it till it comes to my right monitor there you go there she comes you see on the bottom are right there right so it came all the way from there here right and and then and now I can 
interact with uh, whatever I want over here right and if I want to play uh, interact with the cockpit I just go to the left to the left once it's out I already know that I'm on the flight simulator because it's on the onion on the other monitor it is maximized so I just click anywhere there and boom I have the mouse back in the cockpit okay and I can play with these buttons I want to go back to the desktop I press my mouse button which is programmed to be alert tab and I go back and again I have to drag to the right to the right to the right to the right and boom there is my mouse came from the left monitor to the right monitor and I can uh, you know interact with this thing here yeah I guess that's about it uh, yeah not much to it and it works great it works much better than in my old video where I had to yell mouse application or whatever. I was just getting altogether pissed off at it. And uh, here, you know, alert tab, uh, program to the button on the mouse. Uh, you can probably program one of your joystick buttons to it as well. I suppose, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I don't know if you can do it with the joystick. Through, if you are using FSUI PC, yes. Yeah, if you're using FSUI PC, you can program one of your joystick button to to do alert tab, okay? Uh, for you. Uh, I just want to mention if you have uh, one monitor only, then you will have to click on your flight simulator icon, and that will get you your mouse back in the cockpit, okay? then alert tab out of the cockpit click on your flight simulator window go back in the cockpit which I, actually I can do that never really thought of it but I just drag it you know to the left anywhere and I click and it works perfectly fine but if you have one monitor yeah, you can just click on uh, on this okie dokie well, I think that's it uh, yeah There she is. Yeah, it takes a while sometimes for it to come here, so... Yup. I'm gonna stop recording this stuff.